Hi ladies and welcome back to Dip Nails and Wig Tales. Um, today's video is going to be about eye wigs. Everything eye wig. I'm going to do my review on the longest eye wig. That is the 16 inch. I've been wearing it a lot lately in my videos and I have not done a review on it yet. I wanted to wear it some because it is a longer style and make sure, you know, that it's worth it. That it isn't tangle because sometimes longer wigs can tangle. But it's just as perfect as the other length like the video it's free it just lets me know you like it and don't forget to subscribe so you can be entered in my giveaway okay so first let's talk about the length the eye wig in general and gardo wigs they all measure their wigs like when you see the length on the listing it's gonna say 16 inch eye wig that means that it's 16 inches from the nape down so it's technically 24 inches gardo does measure from the nape. Um, and if you're ever confused about that when you're shopping for wigs, just um, send an email or a message to whoever you're purchasing from and ask because, you know, if this was just 16 inches, you know, it would be a lot different than 16 inches from the nape. That's a huge difference. So, eye wigs have their famous layer. All eye wigs will look like this that are the comfort cap. So, no matter the length, it's going to have the layer. Um, the first layer is about 17 inches. I did do a little cutting around the face just so because I like to have like more shorter baby hairs and stuff around my face. But that's all I've done to it. I have been wearing this one for a few months. Not daily. I just started wearing it daily the last few weeks. It has actually become my favorite wig. They are 100% Mongolian hair. This is how it will air dry. So they basically air dry like this. I think the reason it has this little curve in it is because it sits on my table and it dries like that. They are very easy to maintain and style. No frizz. They look good. You can run a flat iron over it. It looks cute. Or you can curl it. Um, they look good. I just recently got a newer 16 inch. And let me show you. So... When I say 16 inches, it's measured from here down is going to be 16 inches. So your total length is 24 inches. And then it's going to have the layer. All eye wigs have that layer in the comfort cap. I did see they had a, um, a lace top that um, Gardo had a while back. And I think it was all one length. But the comfort cap always has that layer. And this one is brand new. All I did was cut the lace and wash it because I'm kind of allergic to hair dye. It makes me itchy, so I'm assuming I'm allergic to it. Um, this one is a silver platinum. So it'll tell you what it originally was on all the eye wig tags. So it's going to see say ELA. And then it's going to say the length, which is 16 inches, and then what it was. This one is a silver platinum. So that's what it was when Gardo got it before they rooted it and colored it or you know did any customizations to it so I don't know if it's coming off on camera but it has a very silver smoky tone to it all the blonde area does not just the ends and then you know it is obviously rooted I am going to put it on and show you um all eye wigs do have a silk top some are um kind of peachy colored and some kind of have a gray tone um it just depends I am a fan of the uh, peachy tone because I'm very olive, so I feel like it goes with me better. Inside the cap, um, this is your silk top area, and then it has like PU um, silicone on it, so that's what keeps it on your head, and it lines it, and then it has ear tabs. They are cushioned. They don't make a sound. Um, they're very, very comfortable. If anybody's picky about wig caps, it's me, and these do not bother me. I can wear them all day. I could sleep in them if I wasn't scared to ruin them. They are that comfortable. This one is the Soul Lace Cap. They do have two caps. One is totally wefted. Um, I've had it once. It is a little bit different. This one is hand tied all around here. So everywhere where you don't see lines is hand tied. So the only area that is wefted and, and machine sewn is the nape area. And then it's going to have your bra strap to adjust. This is a medium cap. I am a 21.5. This is the same exact size and everything. Medium fits me perfect. Um, the air tabs go perfectly. They don't rub or anything like that. 
The small cap is uncomfortable to me and it's tight and I just can't handle anything tight. Here is the lace front. And I do not wear anything under my wigs. I don't wear wig cap, wig grip, nothing. And that is the transition. As you see, this one is a platinum blonde originally, um, is not dry. They do not tangle at all. The only time that I ever notice my wig tangling is when it's dirty. After it's been worn a few weeks, that's how I know it's dirty. It'll start kind of, you know, like sticking together, feeling really gross, not feeling as, you know, clean. Um, other than that, no tangling. I don't brush my wig throughout the day. I don't brush it around the nape. I do not have to do anything like that. They do hold a curl well. They look just as good straight. I will insert a picture of me wearing this one straight. All right, I'm gonna put this one on and show you this one so you can see what it looks like. It's the new one. And the only thing that I have done to this is I did the uh, the original wash, which you always wash them when you get them. And then I cut the lace. That was my dog. And all I did was curl it yesterday or the day before. That's it. I didn't have the flat iron the top or anything like that. I washed it, I air dried it, and then I curled it. Let me show you the back. Another thing that I love about iWig is you are able to tuck your hair. So you can do this. Now I am letting my hair grow out some so that, um, you know, it'll blend. My sideburns aren't that long yet. I just started letting it grow back out um, just for that purpose. But you can tuck, you can wear your glasses. Um, I wear glasses, I wear sunglasses, you can pull them back you know, off your face. Why do I love these caps so much? Um, or these wigs in general? My head is extremely sensitive. I'm talking, I can't wear wig grip. I've tried several brands of wigs and I have a friend who is the same way. She is sensitive and very picky also about what's on her head. And she will tell you herself that nothing compares to the eye wig. You are very sensitive and a wig grip hurts your head. You will like an eye wig. Just make sure you size it um, appropriately. I wear the medium and I think the medium is technically meant for 22.5. Fits me perfectly. You see I have nothing on. I'll pull it for you. It's not going anywhere. I've been in the wind. The wigs aren't coming off. Now um, you know I have a buzz cut so it just sits there. I don't have to wear anything with it. It's not sliding back. It's not big or bulky in the nape area. They are low density. All of them are low density. So they're not thick. You're not going to have helmet head. Um, I didn't do anything special to make it lay flat. I just air dried it. This is this one air dried. They're not thick at all. You will not have to thin them or anything like that. If you like low density, you'll like eye wigs. If you do not like low density, you will not like an eye wig. It will, be, will not be enough hair for you. So they are low density. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great weekend. Please don't forget to hit like, um, subscribe if you haven't already. That way I can do the uh, giveaway when I get to a thousand. Have a great weekend.